What's up mobile devs? In this tutorial we will learn the basics of the pin gesture handler component from the React Native Gesture Handler package. To fully understand it, we will be this simple example. Basically here we can visualize the image and the focal point, that is actually the point where we want to pinch, and when we pinch the image we can see that the image itself scales nicely from our focal point, and when we release the fingers we can see that the scale value returns back to 1. So don't forget that all the source code is fully available on GitHub and remember to subscribe to this channel in order to don't miss my future content about the React Native Reanimated package. That said, let's start to get our hands dirty. Here I created a React Native project with Expo CLI. Uh, in this tutorial I will use my Android physical device, I will not use the iOS simulator but the suggestion right now is to use for this tutorial uh, a physical device instead of a simulator because um, it's much more easy to understand the focal point concept by using um, an, a physical device. So um, I've also added in this uh, tutorial the, an image URI. Uh, I use this uh, URI from an image on Unsplash Basically, uh, this image is free to use. Of course, uh, use whatever even image you want, but I will provide, by the way, uh, this image in the video description. So, uh, as uh, usual, I've already installed the React Native Reanimated, and uh, uh, in this particular case, since we need to handle the uh, Pinch Gesture Handler, I've uh, also installed the React Native Gesture Handler package. So, with the uh, Gesture Handler package, we will handle effectively the scale value. With the reanimated package we will animate the scale value and we will pass uh, to uh, our image component. We will see in a while what I'm talking about. And right here with the bubble, con bubble config JS, uh, in the bubble config JS I've added uh, of course the reanimated plugin in order to enable the workload function. So right now we can already start to define our image component. I will use the React Native image. So let's specify our style of Flex1. And let's specify uh, our source. So we need Im to use image URI. So here we go. And uh, uh, we can already start uh, basically to um, integrate our pinch gesture handler. So uh, actually we need to wrap our image with a pinch gesture handler. So let's say pinch gesture handler. Here we go. So uh, of course uh, it will not uh, work right now. Um, the pinch will not work. We need to handle the on gesture event property. And uh, to deal with the on gesture event property we can start to define our pinch handler. So the pinch handler can be handled actually with the use animated gesture handler uh, function from uh, reanimated. So the use animated gesture handler can be used for a lot of uh, handlers. Uh, for example, uh, a pan gesture handler, a pinch gesture handler, or a tap gesture handler. In this uh, specific case, uh, we are using a pinch gesture handler. So right here we can specify the type pinch gesture handler gesture event. So if you are not familiar with this hook, um, I've already created a pan gesture handler video uh, and I highly recommend you to check out because uh, uh, it will make everything a little bit easy for uh, this tutorial right here. Uh, so with the use animated gesture handler, what we can do? Uh, we can basically access some callback. So uh, those callbacks uh, will help us uh, to handle actually the gesture. Uh, in our specific case right now, let's just use the unactive callback. So right here, let's uh, just uh, see console log event. And uh, let's assign the pinch handler to our pinch gesture handler. So let's reload. Everything is crashing. Here we go, and nothing is work. 
is working, but why nothing is working? Nothing is working because we are using a pin gesture handler, and when we use a gesture handler, we always need to wrap an animated component. So right now we have an image, we, uh, we haven't an animated image. So we need to create a new component that is called animated image. So let's say animated image. And let's use, uh, anim let's import animated from React Native Reanimated. And let's write animated create animated component. So right now we are creating an animated image as an animated Im um, with animated created animated component that uh, is basically a utility from reanimated and we are passing the image component from react native so right now we can use the animated image right here let's reload so when we are pinching we can see right here the event we can see the uh, event properties so we can see the focal x focal y uh, the scale value and so on and so forth uh, we actually need right now just the scale value. So why we need the scale value? Basically, the pin gesture handler is a kind of abstraction, um, a kind of illusion. We are not effectively pinching the image, we are just scaling the image. So in order to scale uh, our animated image, we need to define a scale shared value with the use shared value hook. So let's define as initial value the value one and let's update the scale value with event.scale property. So we need to assign the scale uh, value to the animated image style. And to deal with that, we can uh, create a reanimated style. We can use the use animated style hook and we can return a style with the, the new scale value. So let's say scale value. So here we go. And we need to assign the reanimated style to the animated image. So basically, uh, when we will pinch, when the unactive uh, pinch handler, when the pinch handler will be active, we will update the scale value, the scale shared value, and uh, we, will we will scale effectively the, uh, the image. So everything right now is working nicely. We need, uh, um, so what is missing? We need actually to uh, return back to the scale value the, um, uh, one, to the scale one value. And uh, when the uh, fingers are released. So uh, we need actually to update our scale value on the end of the pinch, uh, on, on the pinch gesture. So with the use animated gesture handler, we can actually access the on-end uh, callback. And right here, we just need to update the scale value with value one. So let's see if everything is working. So we can see that everything is working, but actually we want to animate. In order to animate, we can use uh, with timing or uh, for example, the with spring uh, function from reanimated. So let's import with timing. So everything is working fine. Uh, let's use it with spring just to see if it is better. I think it will be better. So here we go. So maybe the spring is a little bit too much. So let's just use with timing as before. So we need to reload and uh, everything is working uh, almost as expected. But what is missing? So if you, if, uh, you see closely, you can actually see that uh, when we are pinching on the center, everything is working fine. But uh, if we pinch on an angle, for instance, it will always uh, pinch on the center of the image, no matter what. So basically, we don't want to uh, scale the image from always from the center of the image. We want to scale the image from the focal point. But what is actually the focal point? So let's uh, try actually to, visu uh, to visualize 
this uh, focal point value, this focal point object. So first of all, uh, let's try to define focal x value as a use shared value and the focal y value as use shared value. So we can access the focal x and focal y from the uh, pinch event. So let's say focal x value uh, equal to focal x, focal y value equal to event dot focal y. Uh, we need to create a new um, animated view. So this animated view will have uh, uh, a reanimated style and uh, um, let's say a, a focal point style. So let's call it focal point and let's define it right here. So the uh, point will have a width and a height of 20, a background color uh, of blue, just to see something, border radius of 10, and uh, so right here, uh, the pinch, uh, so uh, React Native is complaining because uh, the pinch gesture handler can just have a single child. So we need to wrap everything with an animated view. So let's update the style with flex equal to one. So here we go. So uh, since we want that uh, the uh, the, fo the focal point is above the image, let's just use the absolute fill object property. So here we go. So basically what we are doing, we are doing nothing functional. I'm just uh, creating this focal point uh, component to visualize effectively what is the focal point. So here we need to um, uh, fix the position of our focal point. And to deal with that, let's create a focal point style with the use animated style hook. So let's just return the transform and let's translate x with focal focal x value and let's translate y with the focal y value. So let's add right here the focal point style and let's reload. So right now we can actually see what is the focal point. So the focal point is actually in the center of uh, the two fingers and uh, is the point where we actually want to zoom to pinch effect. We want that uh, the image scaling um, happens uh, in the focal point. So we need actually to use a trick. We want that uh, the scale happen with the focal point, but we know that the scale will always happen with the center of the image. So in order to pinch uh, in a correct way, we need to center the image. We need to fix the, the center of the image with the focal point always, and after we need to scale. And when everything is done, we need to reset back our translate values. So I know that is a little bit abstract, but uh, I uh, I can guarantee you that we uh, we will uh, understand everything right now. So first of all, let's try to see uh, our reanimated style. So the reanimated style is related to the image. The first step is uh, to center the uh, center of the image with the focal point. So to align the focal point with the center of the image. So right now, let's uh, copy this transform right here and let's remove the scale values. So right now we are just trying to center the center of the image with the focal point. So of course, right now uh, we, we can see that uh, the center of the image isn't, uh, uh, isn't aligned with the focal point. To align the center, we need actually to uh, translate X and translate Y with the half of uh, the image height and uh, the image width. So since the image uh, is uh, um, full screen, it fills completely with the screen, we can uh, access the half of the image with the half of the screen, uh, of the screen width and half of the screen uh, height. 
So let's define right here, let's try to access those values with the dimensions APIs from React Native. So width and height. And let's specify here translate x minus width divided by two, because it is the half of the image. And let's say minus uh, on the translate y, let's say minus height divided by two, because it's uh, the half of the image height. So as we can see right now, the image is uh, uh, the center of the image is completely aligned with the focal point. So at this point, we can actually scale. So we can use this trick because the um, transform properties are executed in the same order uh, specified right here. So the scale, va the scale, pro um, the scaling of the image will happen after all those uh, translation. So let's see something by reloading. So we can see that everything is working almost fine. So what is missing? We did all this translation, but we don't want that the final user uh, see uh, this kind of uh, translation. Uh, we just want to use this translation to scale uh, correctly the image. So when the scale is uh, completed, we can restore all the translation as uh, uh, they were before. So let's uh, reapply all the translation, but uh, let's uh, um, change all the, let's uh, just multiply it by minus one, all the previous value. So right here we have focal x dot value. We want to return back to the previous position. So minus, minus, plus, and plus. So it will be the opposite of the previous translation. So let's reload and let's see what is happening. So right now we can see that uh, everything is fine. So basically the trick right here is that we are, we are translating just for the scale, uh, just for scaling uh, correctly the image. And when everything is done, we are uh, returning back to our, to our previous uh, translation. So right here, we, we are not seeing effectively the translation, but we are just uh, seeing the scale of the image. And we can see that everything is working perfectly. So I hope that uh, this tutorial was clear. Uh, thank you a lot for staying with me all that time. Uh, if you like this content, uh, remember to subscribe to the channel. And uh, that's all for today.